kindness, compassion, leadership with the academics. All those things are important. Part of, I guess I want to say, meeting kids where they are is academic, but it's also the whole child, who they are. She is so intertwined with her job as her identity and her passion. You know, everybody's good in their own sense, but this one's special. She does not give up on the kids. Basically, in her room, failure is just not an option. As the year progresses, you are going to be running this morning meeting without it. And you guys can do it. I always knew I was going to be a teacher. It was just, it's always like it was, it was in my heart. I always knew that. There was a specific teacher who clearly influenced me, and that was my 10th and 11th grade English teacher, Mrs. Cunningham. I felt I didn't belong in her classroom, and she just would not let me fail. And I think she would be surprised to know that that girl who said, I don't belong in this class, is now a teacher who thinks of her, I mean, every year. There's not a year that goes by in my life that I don't think of Mrs. Cunningham, not one. She wanted me to go out and experience some things and come back. And I thought, I think I do want to go see the world and do some things and be involved. I'm going to join the service. And I did. My first assignment was a school. <laughs> and so she is at the core of everything I do. If I can be someone's Mrs. Cunningham, I've done good. She thinks it's helpful for us to get involved, and it's also fun to have jobs, like especially when you're involved in the morning meeting. One of the things I love about this morning meeting for the class is that it is going to help you to be able to do a lot of things that we're going to do this year. It's a community. It's like a little, a, a little town, you might say. The students all have tasks. They're, in a sense, training to be citizens in her classroom. Each child has a role to play, and that, of course, will prepare them for their future lives. It's our classroom. It's not just my classroom. It's our classroom, and they take pride in it. She's the perfect amount of strength to me because she, whenever you do something that you're not supposed to do, she definitely tells you that. That's how you help people grow with capacity. You let them struggle a little and then they have that aha. Uh -huh. She uses a lot of sports analogies because that is relatable to kids. Would your coach say this to you? Would you? you know? And so she uses that as an analogy to inspire kids to want to help others and create that team attitude and feeling. And I think the kids really respond to that. When Avery came the first day of school, she came in a wheelchair. After having those surgeries and through her hard work, she ran that mile and scored in all of those events at the national level. It was exceptional. Our whole class was cheering. Well, she's very encouraging to all of us, and she also like is always by her side. The thing that impresses me the most about how Deanna deals with her kids is she has an individual approach with each one. My son struggles with depression and she saw him and helps him be seen when he doesn't feel seen easily. So I feel like I got my son back this year. And as a mom, you know, that's what means the most. Being a teacher now is very different than I think it was 20 years ago. And when we had a lockdown here, she was the one teacher who opened her door and got my kid inside of her classroom, who was scared to death because she knew there's a shooter somewhere. And so she loves these kids like they were her own. For us, she brings out the best of us. She brings out the best of the kids. I feel like she sometimes thinks that she's missing the mark and she has no idea that she's not only hitting the mark, but she's going so far beyond the mark. You can't meet Deanna and not be impressed and hope that you take a little bit of that magic with you. If every teacher were like her, everybody would want to grow up to be a teacher. I've worked hard, even though I feel it's a calling, like it's in my soul, my fiber. I'm always trying to improve my practice. I'm doing what I know I was meant to do.